Women will always go for the best option and it took me getting cheated on to realize this. So when I was 15, I was in 10th grade and I started talking to this girl from school. I got her Snapchat, we started FaceTime, we went on a few dates and then we made it official after about two months. Then after about two months of being official, my boy told me, he's like, hey man, I got some bad news for you. I'll tell you tomorrow at school. And then I said, what is it about? And he said, my girl. And my heart instantly stopped. And bro, that whole night I did not sleep. And what I didn't do is I didn't go and text her a bunch of questions. I just kept it to myself and acted as if, you know, nothing happened. So I go to school the next day and my boy was like, hey man, meet me in the bathroom. I was like, okay, bet. So I meet him in the bathroom and he pulls out his phone and on it was a picture. And that picture was my girl's nudes. I was so heartbroken. My heart instantly stopped. My stomach dropped for all the butterflies. I instantly felt like I was gonna puke. I couldn't believe it. The girl that I loved and I thought she loved me was sending nudes to my friend's friend. I was so pissed off. I just confronted her about it and eventually she confessed. You know how girls are. I didn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. I just broke up with her and like blocked her on everything. And I could not sleep for weeks. And I used all the energy into the gym and for my men's self-improvement and developing up myself. And at the time I was skinny, I was broke. I didn't have any money, had nothing going for me. So I took all the accountability that she cheated on me because it's my fault. I was not the best version of myself. I was a little skinny bitch. I didn't really have anything going for me. And then I remember after the breakup, I posted something really cringy in my Snapchat story and it said, girl's gonna curve you now, but when I'm making six figures a year and swole as fuck, I promise you it's gonna be different. They are gonna get married to a dude that works at McDonald's and vapes 24 <laughs> seven. And, and now I'm swole as fuck, make six figures. That quote was so cringy. So what I've learned from being cheated on and me now, which a girl has never cheated on me in my recent years is girls will always go for the best option they can get. And I think most of us men know this. And I fully understood this after my breakup. And I didn't date girls for a few years then because I was just working on myself. And if I got into a relationship with a girl and I wasn't stable with money, I wasn't really the best version of myself, I would probably have just been cheated on again. So there's a few things I'm going to share with you from my experience of what I've learned to how to not get cheated on. And I call this the framework. You want a girl with a good framework. And there is many different parts of a good framework. But the first one we're going to talk about is a girl's social media presence. A girl has a lot of followers on TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. I wouldn't touch her with a six foot pole. That girl would just be for a bit of fun, never fucking wifey material. So I've dated chicks with 300,000 followers on Instagram and you have to analyze this from an insider expert perspective like mine. And what I'll tell you is they get so much validation from dudes every single day. I used to go through her phone and look at her DMs and every single day she got DMs from dudes with check marks, all this shit. So how does one man even compete with the whole world and dudes with blue check marks giving her attention? So this is what you have to do. You have to offer her something greater in value than the whole world's attention. How do you do this? Number one is love. You have to make your love and attention more valuable than all the freaking thirsty ass dudes on her Instagram. And the next one is safety and comfort. So how do you make your love and attention worth more than all the dudes? The first thing you have to understand is all these dudes are all thirsty and they're creepy all in her DMs. So the best way is to not be that thirsty, creepy, overly attentive dude in her DMs. Now, I'm not saying don't text a girl because then she's just gonna forget you exist. But don't be another creep in her DMs that's just obsessed with her. And the biggest mistake I see men make is they continue to text a girl even when she's a bitch just because she's hot. And when men do this, it instantly makes the girl lose respect for them and just see them as someone who's creepy and obsessed with them just like another fan. So if a girl has an attitude, don't text them. But if she's being nice, then text them. So how do you offer a girl safety and comfort? The first thing you have to understand is all the dudes in her DMs are creepy as fuck anyways. They're all a bunch of 40-year-old virgin fucks that are pussies. So her idea of a man is she hates them because they're all creepy as fuck. So you just have to be that normal dude and not thirsty as shit. Because most beautiful girls, when they go on dates and stuff, the dude just is so thirsty and just tries to fuck them the first date. So if you go on a date with a chick, don't be super thirsty and creepy. Just be normal and she will automatically get that sense of comfort from you. Now with the safety aspect, you have to be big, strong, and capable. A girl's not going to feel safe in her 140 pound boyfriend's arms walking through the mall. Now the key to being capable is your network and can you fight? Now when I say network, I mean how powerful are the people that you know and how smart are you? I know a lot of powerful people and I'm a genius. I'm a hacker. I do IT. I'm in cybersecurity. Also in today's world, if you're not doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, MMA or boxing, you're not capable of anything. You're going to get fucked up in a street fight. I remember when I walked into my first MMA gym, I got fucking killed. When I was a young kid, I used to think, bro, I see red, but it's nothing like that when you actually walk in and you get the fuck beat out of you. Most the people who train know exactly what I'm talking about. The next good framework is a woman's ego. If a woman has a high ego, I promise you that's the most annoying relationship you can be in. The reason is because no matter how smart, rich, intelligent, and handsome you are, she will always think she's fucking right. You could tell a woman with an ego that her friend that invites her out to the club, buys her free drinks, is trying to fuck her and not hang out with them. And she'll go, no, he's not. He's just my friend. I'm going to do whatever I want. And the more guy friends she has is the more dudes trying to bang her. 
And on a long enough time frame, when you get an argument, or meh, 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 she's going to end up cheating. But if you find an intelligent girl that doesn't have an ego, you can tell her to not talk to that guy. She won't talk to that guy anymore. Which one do you want? Do you want a girl with an ego or not an ego? Because if a girl doesn't listen to you, that means she doesn't respect you and your intelligence and she thinks her judgment's better. But to play devil's advocate real quick, we have to humble ourselves for a second and ask ourselves, is our judgment actually better and why should she listen to us? And if you don't have a good answer for that, then you shouldn't be dating until you do. And the next good framework is if she isn't at a big university. And I shouldn't even have to explain this one. So I was talking to this one girl that went to a big university in Florida and I went and stayed at her dorm with her. And it was a Saturday night. There was parties everywhere. I couldn't sleep because the music was so loud. And she told me stories about how all the guys in her dorm tried to fuck her. And then we walked to the gym the next morning. It was a bunch of dudes on campus. And when I saw that, I instantly thought, so all these dudes out here are trying to break into this lock with their keys. And on a long enough time frame of four years at a university, they're going to succeed. If you guys want to be around a bunch of like-minded men that I want fitness, money, God, girls, all this stuff, then join Fitness University. It's literally completely free. I just want to be around like-minded men. If you're enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button real quick.